All right, you're in it to win it now. Uh, we are going to talk briefly about the introduction and conclusion of your essay. Again, taking it to a deeper level. So, in this example, uh, my essay is about the song Still the One by Orleans. And when I am writing my introduction, again, at this point, I will already have my thesis statement done a while ago, all right? My body paragraphs were based on that. I just did not work on my intro or my conclusion yet because I wanted to hammer that all out. But now that it's hammered out, I'm going to go back, I'm going to do my introduction, and these are some things that you want to think about. First of all, when you're writing your intro, remember you're going from more of the broad aspect, narrowing it down to the specifics, which will be your thesis statement. Side note, when you do your conclusion, you're going to start with those specifics and work your way down. So that has not changed. Now, we have talked in the past about the axe and stack. Um, again, that is something for you to keep on the back burner. If you don't remember the axe and stack, it was you started with an attention getter, you had a connecting statement, which tied to your thesis slash summary. Now, we have combined our thesis slash summary into a three-pronged thesis. All right, I'm gonna give you my thesis here about the song still the one so you can see it all right so we have our main concept of the thesis and then it becomes three-pronged as i tell you what three aspects i'm going to talk about so here's my thesis statement the song still the one by orleans has stood the test of time as it talks candidly about the highs lows and mundane experiences of a long-term relationship. All right, wanna hear that one more time? The song Still the One by Orleans has stood the test of time as it talks candidly about the highs, lows, and mundane experiences of a long-term relationship. All right, so there's my thesis statement, very specific. So I need to build on things before that. That thesis statement is going to be at the end of my introduction paragraph. All right, so what am I gonna talk about before that? All right, because I'm not gonna get to the meat of it until I'm in the body paragraphs. Well, I could talk about music and its impact. I could talk about um, why across the generations, you know, why has it had an impact? How does that change across the generations? I could talk about how lyrics and song styles have changed over the years, but themes have stayed the same. For example, love. That's, people are talking about that through the ages, okay? Um, and then, I, I, in my case, I'm going to talk about how love songs tend to focus either on the highs or the lows which is going to tie to that soon coming thesis statement, right? Which is super easy because I already told you in my thesis statement. It's about the highs and the lows and the mundane experiences, hence my three-pronged thesis, all right? So again, what are some things that you can think about while you're writing your intro? Because you're probably not writing about a song. I don't know, maybe you are, but whatever it is you're writing about, here's what you need to think about. You're going to introduce your concept. Mine was music. Provide some context. So I talked about reasons why um, music is impactful. That changed across the generations, all right? Providing context. I might want to suggest what might be missing, all right? So other songs focused on the highs or the lows of love, right? And then my connecting thing, you want to connect what you're talking about to your thesis. There are a few songs that manage to run the gamut when it comes to, you know, relationships. 
So then I move into my thesis. The song, still the one by Orleans, has stood the test of time as it talks candidly about the highs, lows, and mundane experiences of a long-term relationship. All right, so that's my intro. Now, when I get to the conclusion, I do not just want to repeat my background information that I gave in the intro. You know why? Because that's a boring pile of lame sauce. All right, we're going deeper at this level. And so, so what are you going to do? If you're not going to repeat, what are you going to do? Well, you can reflect on significant facts from the text. What does the text say? Um, you might include a revelation after you've done all this critical thinking writing this essay. What can we now all see? And don't say we when you write it. Right? That's addressing the reader and you're not allowed to do that. Uh, but a revelation. Um, restate your thesis, your three-pronged thesis, in fresh language. But it's not going to end there. So after you have your thesis at the toward the end of your concluding paragraph, then you've got to wrap it up. So how are we going to do that? Well, I've got a few ideas for you, okay? I'm just going to pick one. You could leave it with a warning, all right? So, like, if people don't consider that long-term love isn't just all the fluffy, happy, gushy emotions, then, you know, it's no wonder that so many people are breaking up, all right? So it could be a warning. Um, it could be a quote by an expert in the field. I don't know. Who's an expert in the field of love? I don't know. Um, maybe some philosopher. Maybe some uh, famous uh, couples therapist. I don't know. Um, but a quote by an expert in the field. Or you might tie your thoughts to an impactful statistic. Okay, so I could talk about how, like, what is it like? 52% of all marriages end in divorce. That's an impactful one. So clearly I can't just drop that statistic in. Why is that important? How does that relate to what I'm talking about? So, you know, it might be something like, if more people would consider the fact that long-term relationships have highs and lows and mundane in-betweens, clearly I need to restate that in different language. Um, but if more people realize that, then maybe we could, maybe society could start decreasing the current divorce statistic, which is that 52% of all marriages end in divorce. Boom! All right, that's a hard hitting stat and a good way to conclude what you just said. All right, so that's your intro and conclusion paragraph ideas. I know, again, I said a lot, but if you're like, ooh, I just wanna know the intro stuff so I can get started on that, got the links, you can go back and check this out again. I hope that you have a successful time writing your essay, and I hope that this has helped. Bye, friends, have a good one.